friends and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. I know some of you may know about this online marketplace called Cool 10. It used to be called G Market and they sell everything from like beauty products to clothes, gadgets, household appliances and they have some really interesting quirky products that I'm going to test out today. This is the air curler. It's a cup-like attachment that you attach to your blow dryer. You put your hair in here like this, and your hair gets caught inside and it blow dries and curls your hair at the same time. The thing about online stuff, when it came, it was already cracked. I didn't do anything to it, it was just already cracked. And actually, if you look at it, for a new product, it's really quite scratched up. Yeah, let's see if this works. So how I'm going to test this is, I'm going to take two sections of hair, I will dampen it, and then I will blow dry one section regularly, and the other side, I will use the air curler. Now my hair is already permed, right? So there is going to be a curl. I guess what I'm testing is to see how whether this creates more of a curl. So this is how it looks if I blow dry it normally. So now I'm going to try it on this side with the air curler. Cool. The heat is getting really close to my face, which I don't really like, and I can't really control it. <sighs> that was hot. Ah, actually, there's quite a big difference. Huh? You can see how this is a lot curlier. It's also a little bit messier. It looks a little bit frizzy, like vortex. You know, the wind elements when like. If you want to get the kind of like done curls that they say that you will get, I don't think it's gonna happen. But if you want to like separate your hair and give it some kind of curl, I do think it kind of works. So I don't know if it's like my skill or whether it's this product, but it's a little bit hard to use. And also I find for the back sections of the hair, you need to catch it in the right place for the hair to be to like move around to create that curl. So I would give this maybe like a seven out of ten. So this is a stick-on eyeliner and it basically saves you the hassle of drawing eyeliner for people who cannot draw. Uh, also, it comes with very interesting designs. Like these are actually quite the conservative ones already. They have even more out there designs that are quite a bit very elaborate, quite fancy and quite cool. So I've removed all my eye makeup to test this out. is quite interesting. It's quite pretty. If you see it properly, look here. See, there's a little gap. I couldn't get it quite as close to my lash line as I would have liked, but if the but the ends are actually very close already. So now I'm going to try the elaborate design and see if that looks better. Alright, got it off. See? It's really, really pretty. Alright, so now I'm going to try and put it on. pretty, but someone clearly didn't think this through. <laughs> it's got this like giant thing exactly where my lid should be folding. In natural state, this is how my eye looks. So I'm going to remove it now and uh, the instructions say to just peel it off. So I need to hold the outer corner and I pull it off like this. It's like peeling scotch tape off my eye, it's very painful. Okay, that's not so bad. Okay. So for the intricate one, I would give it an 8 or 9 out of 10 because it's very pretty and um, there's no way I could do that on my own. The only thing is that I need to find a design that suits my eye shape, right? And for the normal one, I would give it like maybe a 4 or 5 out of 10 because it doesn't look that amazing and it seems like a bit more trouble than uh, just learning how to use normal eyeliner and also in that way, it's like more expensive. This is the Egg Master and it's an automated egg roll maker. Basically, it's supposed to be very easy to make egg rolls with this thing without the hassle of a stove. And this is how it looks. There's a small hole where the egg goes in. And it also comes with these three things. This is a packer that apparently you use if you want to put like bacon or like bread to make French toast or anything and you just like pack in the ingredients. It also comes with a brush for you to wash it with because you know the hole is quite small. And to top it off, it comes with sati sticks for your first round of egg rolls. So I turn it on to preheat it and when the green light comes on, I will spray the cooking oil. Okay, so now I spray cooking oil inside. <laughs> I'm so glad this is not a pan. Now I'm going to pour in the eggs. So you wait 6 to 8 minutes for this to cook and apparently when it's done, it will automatically rise. So it's risen all the way to the top now. Almost looks like it's going to overflow. This is really exciting. Oh my god! Oh my god! What's happening? Ah, ah, <laughs> what? Oh my god! A 
Okay. <laughs> I love eggs, but what is that? It looks like it looks like a decomposing sausage. <laughs> it looks awful. It's like a hole in the middle. <laughs> Maybe you're supposed to like put the satay stick in as it's cooking so instead of going like this, it will go straight up! So now I'm going to do a second attempt and stick the satay stick in this time. Alright, this is round 2, Shuan vs the Egg Master. It actually doesn't say when you put the satay stick in at any point in the instructions but it's starting to bubble now so I'm just going to put it in. I'm actually a little bit scared. <laughs> I don't want it to like rise up and eat me. So it's hardened a little bit. And now it's rising up like a popsicle. Ooh! It looks like it's risen as far as it'll rise. And, but I, I feel like... Oh! 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 That's awful! I've never seen eggs look so unappetizing my entire life! They say it's like without a pan and everything, right? But I think there's still there's still some amount of mess going on here, right? So now I'm gonna taste it. Mm. It still tastes like egg, even though it looks so terrible. And it's like in between a fried egg and an omelette, if you know what I'm saying. So maybe if you use less eggs, then it'll be a neater process. So I, cause I use two, right? If you use like maybe one, it will rise, but only within here, and it wouldn't spill over. Actually, yeah. Even though it looks so gross and it's a little bit messy, I think it's quite fun. So I would give this a an 8 from 5 out of 10. Okay, that's all I have for this episode, but there's actually more stuff I want to show you from Ku10, so look out for that in part 2. In the meantime, you know the drill. Any comments, comment box down below. If you want to find out more about the products, where to get them from, how much they cost, go to the Featured Products album on the Facebook page. In the meantime, go be beautiful.